We had a bonfire the other night. Lovely. That sounds yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah. Just just a bonfire. Just me and him. We had a bonfire <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> um anyway. So I suppose you guys have a very exciting young team now for Scotland. And yes, Ryan, I'm including you in that. But do you think that you guys are on the way to becoming the best nation in Europe, Adam? <laughs> Stop. Well, Stop, Stop it, it. No, no, this is what I have to deal with. Okay, I feel sorry for you. Wait, I mean, seriously, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Talking, go on. Yeah, no, look, I think, uh, obviously, the way we've kind of been going the past couple of years we've had some really good results I think um <laughs> you know it's Eve's man what are you Eve wind it in I'm some respect for our guests you did you beat Georgia recently didn't you oh man here we go <laughs> oh, here we go here we go right let's go I'm right, let's Frankie, get some stats up <laughs> <laughs> we look at Christina she loves it oh, she's like oh. We're Did just here to have the crack, lads. It's all about the crack. Come on, come on. France, France, France. Yeah, let's stop there talking was, rugby. <laughs> pretty special day in France when we won. You know, that was a won. very cool game. Yeah, yeah. England. Um, yeah, sorry. As I was saying, yes. before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> um, yeah, look, we've had some obviously good results recently. Um, I think the thing is we've kind of been saying over the past kind of four or five years that we're developing and even though we've had some good results we've not finished higher in the table and i can get that from the outside that kind of looks like well are you really developing are you really improving but i think we genuinely are and um, you look at kind of the the young boys coming through now even even younger than myself um you know the 20 year olds the 21 year olds that we've got at glasgow they're really pushing um, some of the older heads, um, you know, is awesome. And, and I think they'll continue to come through for Scotland, which is, which is extremely positive. And um, yeah, I think, look, we've, we've had some good results, but I think ultimately it's about building on that. And, you know, after, you know, there's been eight boys named in the Lions team, I think once they go on that tour and come back, they'll bring a whole lot of experience and, and um, yeah, more, more to the team. So I think, uh, yeah, we're in a good place right now. Um, so my next question then, um, Adam, about Scotland is, do you reckon that you can win the next World Cup? <laughs> Christina, uh, I'm going to have a heart attack if you want For the viewers that couldn't see us and are only listening in their cars, Zebo threw his headphones down and walked off. <laughs> He's just holding up a sign now saying, I'm, <laughs> I'm retiring from the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next question, Christina. Come on. Hey, listen, we've got, we got focus on Romania and Georgia oh, in the geez. summer. Oh. <laughs> we've got two big games coming up. Romania oh, yeah. and Georgia and England Day. Yeah. Leave, leave Adam know. give his political answer at all. I'd, I'd like to hear this. Nah, oh. knock on from that one. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I don't know. I mean, you never know. You'd be friends. But that was, no, that was kind of down to you, right? piss out of him, whatever I said. I'm trying to defend me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not coming on this fucking podcast again. <laughs> oh, uh, champion. <laughs> You're taking it like a champ. This is what Ryan has to put up with a lot of the time. So, And we've been nice today. <laughs> So, no, okay. I, do I have to answer that? No, 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 take no, us no, away, no. Christina. Come on. <laughs> Christina, come on. Ask the question you asked me, Christina. What the nickname? Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah, remember yeah. what the nickname was. No, right. Christina set, sent me mm. a message saying, have you got any idea why they call Adam the Green Bean, was it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... I was uh, like, I started laughing. She was like, right, I'm not asking it. And I'm like, I don't even know that. And then it turns out someone in this, involved in this podcast knows someone that you know. Is that a bad thing? Is the green bean a bad thing? Or, <laughs> uh, oh, nah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what I can't really... <laughs> But you're going to have to explain to us what you it is. Give us, give us like a little bit of it. <laughs> I can't. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way of doing this. Nah, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I was rattling my brain at training today and I asked one of the boys, I was like, you ever heard anyone call Hester the green bean? The green bean? No. Is that right? About is, about is, is the green Maggie. bean the right thing? Yeah, Blair and Maggie or the lean bean. Right, okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. 
I'm guessing it's got something to do. With- <laughs> and, and will Finn know, Adam? If I ask Finn, will he know? Uh, nah. Okay. Right. Oh, damn. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, so you are leaving Glasgow at the end of the season to go and play for Gloucester in the Premiership, even though your offer was matched by Glasgow and the SRU to keep you in the country. So what was your deciding um, factor to that led you to going over to join the, the Cherry and Whites? Um, yeah, obviously, it's, it's a, it was a tough one. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy here at Glasgow. Um, you know, I'm close to home. I'm just an hour from, from my parents down the road and my family there uh, and all my schoolmates. So, yeah, it was a really tough one. I think the thing ultimately was I, I just wanted a, a change. Um, I wanted to play in a new league and I feel like the Premiership will, will kind of help me get my get my game to the next level and playing week, week in, week out in, in really, really competitive fixtures, um, you know, I feel like can only can only help me. And, and that was kind of what um, what the pool was there. So it was kind of to do with the, the level of the competition in the Premiership compared to the Pro 14? Um. I mean, I, yeah, I think, obviously, like, I, I wouldn't say the Pro 14 is less competitive. Like, every single week you're playing tough games um, in the Pro 14 as well. I think it was just, you know, the, the kind of attraction of, um, you know, you've got a lot of, a lot of massive games there. Um, you know, you're playing in front of big crowds week in, week out, different stadiums. I think that was just kind of what I was after is just a, a slight change there. And I think, obviously, my injury as well, potentially play the part in that you know I wasn't playing um you know I'd been kind of doing two months of rehab um so yeah it was it was it was a lot easier decision to make because I was kind of I could take myself out as it would have been a lot harder if I was playing week in week out for Glasgow and you know we were flying still so yeah it was um it was a tough decision and what do you think that you can bring to Gloucester um <laughs> uh the le- the green bean the green bean <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, nah, look, I think uh, obviously they've had Danny Cipriani's left them. Um, you know, they've got a, a good couple of young turns in, in Lloyd Evans and, and George Barton. Barton. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I've, I've, I've got a mix of kind of a running game and a kicking game. Um, so yeah, I think I can bring that, bring that ask back to them as well. I feel as though over the past few seasons, I've developed a lot more as a player, um, you know, played in big games with big moments and I think I can take that experience down there and are you looking forward to some um some loose nights loose nights out in uh, in Cheltenham uh I don't know if it'll be as loose as Glasgow to be honest I went <laughs> yeah, down no uh to visit the other week and it's you know it's a very small kind of English town um similar to Bath so oh look I'm sure there'll be a few cider farms um to check out and things like that but it's, it's certainly not big city life down there um, Adam, you're the third member of the Hastings Rugby Dynasty to represent the senior Scotland squad. Following Daddy. Foot- oh, go- oh, sorry, Ryan, do you want to ask a question? Or- <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. So that's it, following in Could the Could you footsteps. say his full name, please, Christina? Uh, I don't know which one's his dad. Which one's his dad? Christina, which one's his dad? His dad's name's Gavin, and his uncle's oh, name's Scott. Yes. Yeah, his uncle is well. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Um, and your dad... Is- hmm? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's really cool. I should be. Scotland, Zeebs. Yeah, I know Gavin. Yeah, I didn't know the uncle played as a well. fair play. Yeah, he's that's a crap nice. commentator now. You'll know his annoying voice. But ah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, I do. <laughs> I do, I do. Ah, lovely fella, lovely fella. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gas. Jeez, some rugby family, fair play. Yeah, that's not bad. Really. Unreal, not bad. unreal. And I suppose present company excluded, like your dad is probably the most famous Scottish rugby player in the history. Um, so what was it like kind of growing up as his son? Uh, yeah, good, because I always knew I'd get a job in rugby. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, um, well, nah, yeah. obviously, um, it had its tough, tough moments, obviously, when you're a, a young lad and um, all your mates kind of get into you that you're, you're only playing or you're only starting because you're old, man. Um, but, you know, kind of when you, when you get a little bit older, you realise that, um, you know, you are getting rewarded for ability and, and not just your last name, um, you know, which was which was tough as a, as a youngster to kind of get through that, but obviously kind of spurred me on more um, as well. So, yeah, it was ultimately, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And, you know, I'm obviously very proud of my old man and my uncle, yeah. Because when you decided then to pursue rugby in a professional capacity, did you actually feel any extra pressure to perform well, just given your family's legacy? Uh, maybe at the start. I mean, I wouldn't say it ever bothered me enough to affect my game or anything like that or be on my mind the whole time. I think, obviously, when you're first coming through, 
And the, I remembered like the first couple of times I was on TV, I'd watch a game back with a commentary, like and this and that. And all you'd hear is things about your old man, um, you know, son of. And um, yeah, but as you kind of, you know, gotten further into my career, I think that's obviously mentioned a little bit less, um, which is, I don't know, a good thing, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing. You've paved your own way. So, yep. Um, did, what did, we, did he win any big trophies? Yeah, in 1990 Grand Slam, five nations. Though. So, uh, one is there any photos of you with you on his shoulders, like Entomac and his old band? No, no, no. So, I was born in 96 and he retired in 96. Oh, so, I oh, ended my dad's career. I've <laughs> 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 been repaying. How cool, was, how, how cool was that, by the way? Yeah. Um, like that, they redid that. They got into mm. Max old man on his shoulders, mm, didn't they? Yeah, and had him cool. holding the trophy. That man, that yeah, is cool. proper that cool, is cool, isn't it? 